one of the most important things to do when solving equations is verifying that your answer is correct. So the next couple of problems, that's what we're going to do. We're going to practice checking answers that we have for equations to see if they actually work. So let's assume that we've worked through this problem and we've come up with y equals negative 1. We're going to check and see if that actually works by plugging that value that we've come up with back into the equation to see if the answer comes out true. So we need to just take that negative 1, put it in place of y everywhere we see it in the equation, and see if it works out to be a true statement. So if we come out with 3 times negative 1, oops, sorry, 3 times negative 1, not negative y, plus 5 is equal to negative 2 times negative 1. And we work through the math using order of operations. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 5 is equal to negative 2 times negative 1. That's positive 2. Then we have negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2 equals positive 2. Since the statement we've come out with here at the end is correct, is a true statement, that means that the answer we started with, y equals negative 1, is the correct answer. Here we're going to practice solving a word problem and then checking the answer we get using the process we've been practicing the last couple of questions. So here we have some information. Tomatoes cost 50 cents each and avocados cost two dollars each. Anne buys six more tomatoes than avocados and her total bill is eight dollars. We need to find out how many tomatoes and how many avocados Anne bought. So let's start by coming up with a variable. We'll say that A will be the number of avocados number of avocados. Now if Ann buys six more tomatoes than she does avocados, then that means that A plus six would be the number of tomatoes. Number of tomatoes. Okay, and that means then that if we were to take the number of each fruit that we bought, multiply it by their price, we could come up with the total price. So if tomatoes are 50 cents each, we're going to take 0.5, or 50 cents, times a plus 6, which is our number of tomatoes, and add that to 2 times a, so $2 times the number of avocados, and that total amount should be $8. 0.5 times a gives us 0.5a, or half of a, and then 0.5 times 6 gives us 3, plus 2a equals 8. We'll take that 0.5a and combine it with this 2a. It gives us 2.5a. And then to get the 3 off of this side, we'll subtract it from here and subtract it from here. That'll give us 2.5a is equal to 5 divide both sides by 2.5 that gives us a is equal to 2. Now if a is the number of avocados and a is 2 then she had 2 avocados and 2 plus 6 or 8 tomatoes. If that's the case, then the two avocados each cost two dollars, that would be four dollars. And the eight tomatoes each cost fifty cents, that would be another four dollars. Those two prices together should equal the total amount that she spent. She spent eight dollars. Yes, that's correct. So our answer, two avocados and eight tomatoes, is correct.